Tene Seo share index is down marginally in early trade on the first trading day for this week. Roti Mifaka Ejo, Managing Director at Enterprise Capital Partners, joins me now to review media trading activity. Roti Mi, thank you very much for joining us. And of course, the biggest news today is the GDP rebasing. And to what extent is this impacting trading activity today? I guess it's early days, but definitely big news for the market to digest. Well, it is a big news and uh, everybody is excited about it, but it's yet to have an impact on the market. Uh, well, just as you said, we, the market is about 0.07% down uh, during midday, and I think some securities have, uh, uh, when, uh, some, the price of some securities went down, mm -hmm. and we have seen some improvement in some others. Okay, so your take though about how the market trades from here, we're going further into the second quarter. It's had a pretty good start. Last week it was up about 1%. Do you think that move is sustainable? Well, uh, in my own perception of the market, and uh, maybe having analyzed the performance in the first quarter, uh, to me, I believe there is every likelihood that the second quarter is going to be much better than uh, what we saw but in why, the first me, quarter. But why, why will it be better? Will it be the Q1 numbers? Is that what you're looking for? forward to, to give this market a bit of a lift? Well, uh, to an extent, there was a lot of selling pressure in the first quarter, uh, with a lot of reasons being adduced to that. But I think uh, such selling pressure has subsided, and I believe that the time the uh, Q1 results are out is definitely going to bring about uh, a further upward movement in, uh, in the market index and at the same time sustainability. Which sectors do you think will benefit from that move if we see it uh, play out as you are suggesting? Will it be the banking sector? We know it's underperforming the broader market right now. Well, I think uh, the banking sector we also still see some uh, positive trend. Then uh, more so we're going to see more positive trend coming from the industrial goods and the consumer goods. Mm. All right, we'll see if it plays out as you suggest. We're looking at earnings news today. We see Access Bank has reported. We see profits down about 7%. How is the market reacting to this? Well, the market is very, very rash. Uh, right now, it's trading on offer, having lost about 4.84%. And I think uh, everybody is worried of that result. In spite of the fact that they have earlier paid a dividend of 25 kobo, mm -hmm. now paying additional 20, 35 kobo, making uh, an aggregate of about a cumulative of uh, 60 cobalt. Investors are not taking it in good light. And I think uh, what is more worrisome is a kind of decline in their profitability. And I think uh, this may not abate in the first quarter by the time we see the Q1 results. Right. We've seen quite a few results from the banks. I used to bullish about the banks, though. We've seen a pretty mixed picture, but no very fantastic growth numbers coming out of the bank at all. I guess that was expected given the impact of monetary tightening last year. But overall, what's your thoughts on the numbers we've seen from the banking sector? To me, I think, um, uh, to be sincere with you, uh, we've seen very good fi figures for a good number of them. At least uh, even as there isn't much growth in their figures, but the, susten the, susten the sustenance of the previous figures is quite worthwhile and acceptable to the market. Uh, having uh, put into perspective various uh, reforms that have gone down within the uh, monetary policy, with the monetary policies, and I think uh, going forward, they've really uh, come out to acclimatize with those policies. And uh, by the time we enter into the first quarter, uh, I mean, by the time we enter into the second quarter fully, we are definitely going to see much adjustment in their figures, and that those, figure, those adjustments are definitely going to be positive for a good number of the banks. All right, let's still talk about this GDP rebasing, uh, the GDP taking, getting a major boost after the rebasing exercise was completed and announced this weekend. Um, it, it, it really does makes us, makes us think about the potential for more companies to get listed on the exchange. Of course, the market cap to GDP number has been trimmed significantly because um, the GDP has gone up so much. So your take about the potential for new listings, for more companies to get on this market? Well, I think uh, the management of Nigeria Stock Exchange, they are making frantic efforts to get a, a good number of companies listed. But I think uh, that effort uh, has to be increased in order for us to have a meaningful result. And I think uh, we set Plat Petroleum coming on board uh, among the companies listed on the exchange and maybe a few others coming shortly after. We are definitely going to see that uh, uh, the contribution of the capital market to the GDP increasing. And I think uh, this, uh, the current um, 
trend that we are seeing, the rebasing, is definitely, is, uh, that, there will be an adjustment and the uh, impact is not going to be as much felt as the way the, the, uh, uh, the capital market contribution has now been uh, reduced significantly. But I think with more listing, we're going to see better things coming. Final point, and very quickly, your take on what this could mean for foreign investors flows into Nigeria's um, um, equity market. What are your expectations there? Well, I think uh, to an extent, the, it, it has increased the perception. It has given more positive percent perception about the Nigerian economy. But I think a few things that we still be uh, a thing of worry are the infrastructural the development of the country, the corporate governance, business processes, which still, which a lot still has to be done about. But I think even all those ones still be in place, we are still going to have a situation whereby. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the foreign investors are going to be better attracted to the Nigerian market than in the past because well, of this new rebasing. 